Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing great and staying safe in these hard times. I have some bad news, few days back my computer hard drive got crashed, and because of that, all my files inside the drive is completely gone. I hope I can still keep making more tutorials for you in the future and I hope you learn something from me. Today in this tutorial we will be learning about how to change your daylight video into a night video in Premiere Pro. Before we begin please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's get started. Create a new project. I will name it as day tonight. Click OK. We will now import our stock video onto our project panel. Now drag this video onto our sequence panel to create a new sequence. Let's play it. Here we have this video of this big beautiful architect building in front of a river and tourist ships. If you look closely on this video, you can see the clouds with different colors to it. Here we have this blue tint and orange with white. Clouds are the most important when it comes to changing the day to night look, but you don't have to worry about that. Because I will teach you about how to master this various shades in a simple manner. So let's start learning it. Now first we have to get rid of this color saturation. Since night time colors are not saturated to our view. For that we will desaturate it. I want you to know that because it's important. When it comes to color correcting. Please try to use the adjustment layer. Don't try to put effects on the video layer directly. By doing that, you can remove any color grade at any moment without affecting any video layers below. Go to this project panel and click on the new item icon. Select adjustment layer. We will use the default settings, click OK. Take this adjustment layer and place it on top of our video layer. Extend it to the video end. Now go to effects panel and type in fast color corrector. Take it and place it on our adjustment layer. Go to effects control. Here we have our fast color corrector effect. Go to saturation and decrease it around 25%. As you see our saturation is down and it looks super different from its original color. Decrease it. Now that looks perfect. You can see that the color is still there. And it's perfect for our night look. Go to this input level slider and drag the black slider around 55. Now that looks super good. By doing that we now have this amazing black shade look, which will give a bigger impact on the final output. You can see the before and after. From a bright vibrant day view to dark with less saturated view. That's perfect. Now we have to remove these day highlights from our video and make it suitable for the final correction. Go to Effects Panel and type in RGB Curves. Take the RGB Curves and place it on our Adjustment Layer. Go to Effects Control. Here we have our RGB Curves. But before we work on this tool, I want you to know that RGB Curves are one of the most important tool in the editing and compositing industry. From green screen to decompositing, this tool is used all around the globe, so be sure to learn a lot more about Curves tool. Now our first objective is to remove the highlights in our video. Go to the RGB curve and bring down the highlights.
As you see we now removed our highlights which gives that daylight, but our midtones too got removed a little. Increase the midtones and shadows a little. That looks super perfect, we now removed the highlights while preserving our midtones and shadows and it looks super good. Since our building and clouds does have some red tones, bring the midtones of the red curve down a little to remove that red tint. Now that looks perfect, we now removed our red tint in our video, we are 60% finished on our night view look, since all the camera tend to capture the moonlight during night, which is obviously blue, so we will increase midtones of the blue a little to add that night blue look. Now that looks super good, we will now focus on fine tuning the actual video color to make it look like it shot on night time. Go to effects panel and type in lumetric color. Place the lumetri color onto our adjustment layer. Go to effects control panel. Here we have our lumetri effects. In the input lot, under basic correction, select this default lot, called Alexa V3K1S1. As you see this gave us that deep blue tint look to make it more dynamic. Now bring the exposure down to minus 1.5. Bring down the highlights and shadows only a little. Now decrease the white a lot more than the others. As you see, it is now the ideal night view look, but as if you see here we have our white clouds and some orange tint popping in our video, we will remove it in a second. Go to curves. Again bring down the RGB curve highlights a little. That looks perfect. We will now remove these white and orange color in our video. Just go to effects panel and type in remove matte. This time we will place this effect on our video layer. Since our cloud is on the video layer and not in the adjustment layer. Go to effects control. As you see we now have our remove matte effect. And there. We now removed our white orange color in our video. You can change to white matte for better result. And that's how you remove those white colors and tints in your video. See the before and after. We are almost finished. We will give it that final night look to make it complete. Go to the new item and select black video. We will use the default settings and click OK. Place the layer above all and extend it. Go to effects control panel and change the blend mode to overlay. Decrease the opacity to around 12%. Now again go to effects panel and bring RGB curves to our black video layer. Again add some blue midtones and decrease the highlight a little. And that looks great. We are 95% completed, but there are still some orange tint in our clouds. We will remove it now. Go to adjustment layer and select the RGB curves. Right click and select copy and again right click in the empty space then paste it. Bring the highlights up and increase the midtones a little. There, just like that we removed our orange tint in our video. 
We are finally turned our day video into a night video with few little tools in Premiere Pro and it looks super amazing. You now know how to remove different colors and make your clouds look perfect like in the night light. Let's see the before and after. There, the difference between our before and after looks are day and night. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Please support me and I will make more amazing tutorials like this. Please hit the subscribe and like button so you don't miss any more videos in the future. Stay safe and learn more. Thank you for watching.